Hey everyone, this is a quick video, just a post install what's next with the solar roof, what happened. So I don't have much to share, I'm not in California anymore, but essentially we completed the install of the solar roof almost two weeks ago. So it was done January 16th was the last video upload. Uh, we just got permission from the San Diego uh, Gas and Electric that we can turn the system on. Tesla talks to them and they mentioned as a week had gone by, we hadn't heard anything in your Tesla account, it'll say the next step is that we're going to connect with your utility to get permission to turn it on. So they reached out a couple of days ago, we got an email confirmation saying congrats, you can turn the system on, which is on you. So Tesla isn't out there, there's a physical switch on the system of the hardware that you can basically flip on and that will allow the roof to start generating power and then in the app itself, you'll start to see the power generation inside the app which was great we had some good power generation the first day we got to turn it on uh at noon uh two days ago uh so it was about a total of a week and a half post install that we got permission to turn the system on a couple tips and other things that had happened is that home has a pergola uh an open pergola in the back and there was a leak so where the roof hits the pergola there was a gap that was now introduced there was a rainstorm in california still having rainstorms now and a lot of water fell through that area so that wasn't tested and that is a recommendation that if you are getting the solar roof take a hose or have the team take a hose and put it on the roof if there's any leak concerns. That way the team is there and can fix it rather than finding out during a rainstorm and having a lot of water in places you don't want. Then having to reach out to the supervisor to, con uh, to connect with the field project manager to then come back and schedule time for um, install. The other pieces to understand is that we have, and even if it's still outstanding right now, a piece of rotted wood that maybe have termite damage that needs to be replaced. And for whatever reason, it wasn't replaced during or wasn't necessary to, it was just a concern. Um, and that team can fix it. We just You just have to get permission from your uh, supervisor. So we are putting an ask there. The field team that it repaired the roof and pergola leak area said, can't do it unless you get uh, permission from the supervisor. If there's added costs, uh, we'll find out, but so I reached out to request that, but test the roof, throw a hose on the roof, make sure there's no leaks, get that taken care of prior to them leaving or ask them to do that, and then expect system on within, uh, the, the supervisor said a few weeks. For us, it was one week and a half. We got an email right from the utility directly, not Tesla, that said, congrats, um, you're ready to go, and then you can turn the system on. So everything is good, super happy with um, the how the roof looks. The whole process could have been smoother if you've seen the other videos, had some issues with initial scheduling inspections, which, you know, if those don't happen, it delays the entire process. And Tesla, even on the earnings call, recently mentioned that scaling installation and getting faster and more efficient is, is a priority and is the only bottleneck to true, you know, market domination. So either way, hope this is helpful for post-install uh, expectations. Have a great rest of your week and talk to you soon. Take care.